Okay, ready? Yeah. How following up can increase your sales on Facebook Marketplace today. What's up, everybody? My name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. And we're the Family Flips. We are full-time resellers. We buy and sell liquidated goods, a lot of it online, but we also do a lot of selling on Facebook Marketplace here in our local community. And today we're talking about a big lesson that we have learned around following up. I feel like this is a huge secret that Joe and I are sharing because it has made us so successful as resellers on this particular platform for selling things. Mm -hmm. But there's also this, this issue that a lot of people have when it comes to selling on Facebook Marketplace that is a source of huge frustration among sellers. And let me let me give you an example. And lots of funny videos that are out there also. <laughs> yes. But let me give you an example of what a frustrating situation that we run into all the time looks like. I'm going to play the buyer. Would you play the seller? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm interested in this item. Is it still available? Yes. Yes. Yes, this item is available. Hey. Is the price negotiable? It depends what your offer is. Would you like to make an offer? As you can tell, that it could be a very frustrating experience for sellers, whether you are a casual seller, a hobby seller, or you resell um, for your full-time business. It's frustrating, but I think when you actually take a step back and look at it, you know, one thing that I have found is that there are certain patterns of time in which people ask about items and then they never reply. Like I realized like I'd wake up in the morning and have, you know, several messages about items and then I reply back and then I hear nothing or they reply, you know, in the afternoons and I hear nothing. I found that most time people are scrolling Facebook. They're looking at Facebook marketplace like at nighttime or on their lunch break. So when, by the time you respond, they're already busy at work or doing something else, and they've already forgot that they even replied to it. I know if you're like me, I get lots of notifications on my phone, and I often don't look at any of them. The truth is, we don't know why people don't respond back when after their initial inquiry. And we can make tons of assumptions about whether they're good people or bad people or rude people or they just were raised wrong or yeah. whatever. But the truth is, there could be a lot of very innocent reasons why somebody doesn't respond. How do, how do we move this forward to help increase our sales as a business for us like we sell lots of items on facebook and if i'm rude to somebody or i'm short with them or whatever like we've just lost a potential future customer not just for that particular item but for all the other items uh that we sell or will ever sell that we've lost potential people so i've learned that a great way to capture a customer is by following up. So like, I understand that it is frustrating when people don't respond and you're trying to sell something, right? But at the end, I've learned that I can't control what they do. But what I can do is I'm in control of my business with how I respond and how I move forward uh, and make good decisions that are going to make your business more successful by choosing to follow up. The truth is, whenever you say something whether you respond back or don't respond at all, you are painting a picture for yourself and your business. So when you are selling on Facebook Marketplace, however you choose to follow up and however you choose to respond to somebody who inquires about an item that you're selling, remember that you are not just representing yourself, but you're actually representing your whole business. So let's talk a little bit about what follow-up looks like. So let's say that Joe is the seller and I, again, am the, the buyer, and I have inquired about an item. But for whatever reason, after he told me that it was available, I haven't responded. He doesn't know why I haven't responded, but I haven't responded for whatever reason. So what Joe is going to do is he's going to think, okay, I know that she may have a job or she may just be really busy. So I'm going to wait maybe 12 to 18 hours and I'm going to find an opportune time to ask if they're still interested in the item. Mm -hmm. And if I, and if I am truly just very busy or if maybe I, I, I completely forgot, usually at 12 to 18 hours, whatever I was doing, I'm done doing. I'm, I may be done working or I'm done, you know, being with family or I'm done just 
having a complete mental breakdown. Nobody knows what's going on with me, you know? Um, but he's going to respond and he's going to ask, are you still interested? I've, I still have this available. When, when would you like to come look at it? When would you like to get it? And then I will say, oh my gosh, that's right. I totally wanted that item and I completely forgot. Mm -hmm. Thanks for following up. When are you available? And then we can go through this negotiation tactic of trying to find a time to meet. Sometimes, however, I will also say, I might also say something like, actually, I found another item mm -hmm. um, online that was cheaper and uh, I don't need this item anymore. Right? But never have I ever said, why are you following up with me? How dare you value your items and value what you're selling so much so that you would follow up with me? So basically, the worst thing that you, anyone can say to you is, no, I don't need the item. Yeah. And most of the time, it's, it's you know, it is a no. But I've also learned to not just follow up within that time period, but sometimes give it two or three days. Like if we haven't sold an item and somebody expressed interest, we've messaged back and forth, but I never heard back from them. I'll follow up like a week later just to kind of re uh, gauge their interest in the item. And then sometimes people are shopping and uh, they don't have money now, but they will when, when payday rolls around. Uh, so I found that during those times, I reply back, usually on you know Thursdays or Fridays, because that's when people are gonna be available. Most, most people that work a nine to five life, which is a good majority of the people, they'll be off the weekends. They'll be, be available uh, to meet up, but without following up, you never know if you're gonna get a sell or not. And the truth is people aren't just gonna upfront tell you why they aren't purchasing or why they can't purchase or what what obstacles they have in the way that's keeping them from purchasing this item. But if you can follow up in a kind, non-assuming manner, then you're showing yourself as a professional and you're also showing that you care about the mm -hmm. you you care about that buyer yeah. and you 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 you're also sending this subconscious message that what you have is valuable and that you are you are providing a service that is important. And if you're in business, if you're in the reselling business, then you have to believe that the items that you are offering are valuable and important. Well, I hope you found these tips useful. Uh, we do believe and we do believe strongly in that following up is an important way to increase sales mm -hmm. in your local community, especially pertaining to Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, so we hope that you've liked this video. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to us already and you've watched this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know more about selling on Facebook Marketplace, there'll be a link somewhere on the screen in here. Uh, but until next time, Peace.